Hello, welcome back. Frost510 here with the part, oh, week two, Path of the Ronin Guide for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And let's just get straight into it. So we got the in multiplayer, get 100 operator assists. This is easy. You can play on, I'd say any, really. Not hardcore, because again, enemies die so fast. It's harder to get assists, but you can just throw stun grenades and flash grenades into the air and get lucky. Uh, normal quick play, uh, objective based modes is the best naturally because you you know hard point headquarters not really headquarters dominations your basic absolute basic you can't go wrong there now for this one get through operator kills without dying 25 times now I went about this a different way so you could try hardcore and then you get lucky depending on your skill I don't assume anything so I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do it I found was infected because they have to be operator kills again, you can't do invasion and ground war is a bit of a challenge here. It depends on the mapping in ground war, of course. But I found that in infected, if you're not the first person who's infected, then you can gather with the rest of the crew. And if you last long enough, you'll get three kills quite easy, I'd say. Because, you you know, they've got to throw their throwing knives. If you're not in an obvious position, you've got a little bit of an angle on them, you get a chance to get that shot off. You can get a couple kills, get three kills each match. Now, it'll take a while because the matches aren't... Oh, but then they can be quite quick. They're probably It's probably the quickest mode, to be perfectly frank. Isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, it's the, quick me it's the quickest method. I mean, sometimes I was the infected first go, but that was quite unlikely. Again, 18 players in an infected match, so... As soon as someone's infected, plenty of chance to get kills. And the match can go for quite a while, so you can get, you know, more than three. But it's just good because the second you die, you're infected. So you have the... Between being infected and then normal, you have your obvious three kills without dying. So you know at the end of the match, you always know if you've got three kills. There's no, did I get that one, that one there? No, you know. It says on the stat page, how many kills you got and you know you got it or not. So that way you know if it's bugged or not, which I don't haven't heard anything about bug, but you never know. So just basic objective modes for assist and you also you can get the I got the assist in infected as well because I would use the secondary and just put a couple shots on early on and then everyone else would shoot them when there were so many people who weren't infected you could easily get assists but it's probably easier just on domination but yeah so if this helps you then like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time and then we'll go on to um, the next challenges which are two days away so yeah I'm really looking forward to getting the crossbow legitimately so <laughs> And in multiplayer, so yeah, I'll catch you all. Oh, do I say anything about the war zone? Uh, three, yeah, that's the one. Reviving teammates, you can purposely down yourself or your teammates. Bounty contracts, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even worry about that. War zone, different beast, but multiplayer, it's a bit of work. I will say, it wasn't super fast. In terms of really really fast but it was still consistent consistent with the dying without dying three kills thing so yeah that'll do um i'll catch you next time for the finale the final challenges and hopefully they're not too bad Oof, i'm worried all right then see ya